Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a close look at the grunge filter that's found in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2018. You may remember in our last video, I demonstrated the bleach bypass filter, and I applied that filter to this image of my son's band, Kill the Clock. And when I did, we came up with this. I think the grunge filter is similar to the bleach bypass filter in a couple respects. One is, I think it's an acquired taste filter, meaning it's not a filter everyone's going to like, and it's probably not a filter you can apply to every single image you create. It's something that you're going to use here and there. Also, it's very similar to the bleach bypass filter in what it does, but it kind of has a couple extra features that the bleach bypass filter doesn't have, and the bleach bypass filter has a feature or two that it doesn't have, so you really could get a very different look with it because of that. So, for this demonstration, I thought we'd take the same exact image so we could have a kind of an apples to apples comparison. So, this was the image with the bleach bypass filter applied. Here's the image with no filter applied. So, we're going to take this image over to the effects module and we're going to add filter and we're going to add grunge. And like most of the filters in On One Photo Raw 2018, as soon as you apply the filter, it does something to your image. So there is before and there is after. And it's laid out as all the other filters are. Across the top, we have the styles. Then we have some actual controls for the filter. And then we have some add-ons that are unique to this particular filter. For this filter, we have a glow section in a film grain section. You may remember in the bleach bypass filter we had a um, color toning section so we could kind of tint the image with a specific color. That isn't available here. Up above we have the same sliders that are available in the bleach bypass filter but it's missing the contrast slider. But what can we do with this? So going across the top let's look at the styles first. As soon as you turn the filter on or apply the filter, it, it puts this normal style on the image. And you can see that it's kind of just darkened down the shadows a bit. Go to lighter and it lightened up those shadows a bit. There's darker and it made them, I guess, a little darker and it added, I think, a little more detail uh, to the image. They're strong. So you can see we're getting progressively, after lighter, getting progressively more intense with the effect. Then we have the drop down and we have a few more here. We have this Arcam, we have Frumpy, we have Grunge, we have Grunge Glow, we have Just Enough Darkness, and then we have the ones that were up above, Lighter, Normal, Strong. So we have all those. And then of course you could create your own and we'll talk about that in a minute. So what should you do? Well, if you like one of the styles, just run with it. If not, Start out at normal, and you can see all the sliders when you're in normal are right in the middle. And we could dial in our custom look to the image that we'd like. First of all, the amount slider. If you move it all the way to the left, it's as though the filter's not even on. There's before and there's after. So as you move them out to the right, we're applying more and more of this grunge effect. So you could just kind of keep going to the right, and you can see it's just really making the shadows darker increasing contrast a tiny bit, not as much as the bleach bypass filter, and it's kind of um, bleaching the highlights a bit, but not as much as the bleach bypass filter. The brightness slider increases or decreases the brightness of the entire image. The saturation slider increases or decreases saturation of the entire image. And the detail slider is the slider that will probably add the grunge effect most to the image. Meaning, as I move it to the right, you'll see we're going to be adding detail to the image. And the further right I go, the more HDR-like it becomes until you go a little bit too far and you get this really scary, bad HDR look. 
Conversely, if we go to the left, we'll start giving it that ethereal blur look. So you could really kind of dial in a look that you'd like with this detail slider. So you could really come in with just four sliders and really affect the image greatly uh, with it. Now, typically, everyone is different. Uh, I would probably, again, like this to be relatively darker, a little bit uh, with the color kind of sucked out of the uh, image a bit. I did mention before that my son's band, Kill the Clock, is a, a pop punk band. So I think grunge and bleach bypass, those effects work good for a band like them. And I mentioned that if they were classical musicians, I'd probably do something totally different. I don't think a grunge filter would fit a classical musician. But then again, they're probably not as fun in concert as a pop punk band. So uh, so with that said, I think I like these types of effects for these types of images. And we're going to bring detail up a little bit. So I think that would be adjusted to my liking for this image. Now I mentioned there's two more sections below here, and you can see this section glow. And the glow consists of a slider and a dropdown. The dropdown won't be active until you move the amount slider even a little bit to the right. So as I move it to the right, you can see we're in the default mode is lighten. So as I move this amount slider to the right, you're going to see that the highlights get a glow to them. You can see how their faces, arms, and hands are just starting to glow. That's in lighten mode. If I take this drop down, you can see there's other blend modes here. Let's go with darken. And you can see that it's a little more difficult to see, but it's really taking more of the shadows and applying the glow to the shadows. And you can see if I go too far to the right here, it kind of posterizes the image. So if that's the look you're going for, you're going to want that darken mode applied. Then we have multiply, which is more of a contrasty thing. And you can see how it's kind of darkening everything. You can't necessarily see where the glow is going, at least on this image. Of course, every image is going to be different. Screen is more of a highlight mode. You can see it's still kind of glowing out their skin and their brighter parts of the image. Overlay, there's more color in overlay mode, but you can see how you could really increase contrast as you move the amount slider to the right. We go down, there's, oops, I skipped one, overlay strong. And you can see that. Kind of kind of uh, puts the glow more in the shadows it appears at least on this image soft light it's kind of a cool effect there and soft light strong so you can see that it's really kind of blurring out or glowing out I think might be a better term the shadows so for this image I think I don't think I want multiply I'm not sure what I want to tell you the truth Let's try uh, overlay. No, I don't like that one. Let's uh, let's go with soft light and put the amount up. So similar to the bleach bypass filter that I did in our last video, I kind of want the shadows really dark and I want the highlights a lot brighter so their faces kind of just pop out of the image. So kind of going for the same effect but using two different filters to achieve that same effect. So there is glow. Below that is film grain and film grain what I found is it's not scaled to resolution. So if you have a very high resolution image you'll be hard pressed to see the grain in that image as opposed to a lower resolution image you'll more readily see the grain applied. So as I move a mount up it's really difficult to see. This was shot with an icon D uh, 800e which is a high resolution DSLR so you could see it's very difficult to see any grain being added so if I had a request two on one I'd like to see them scale the film grain so that it is um, more pliable and more predictable across different resolution images so that if someone dials in a film grain amount of 50 and a size of 178, that it looks consistent from image to image to image, 
no matter what the resolution of the image is. Now, with that said, again, we can't really see much here, so I'm going to just max them right out, and you can see I can't really see any. Um, but with that said, that's good. So then I could come in here and I could readjust. I want to take out some more of the, the color. Again, I'm, I'm pretty much not being very creative here, I confess. Um, the bleach bypass, I came up with a very similar look. But that's kind of the look I wanted uh, for this band. So I'm not um, being, again, I'm not really thinking out of the box too much. So my apologies for that. But let's say that I like this look. And this is a look that I want to use repeatedly uh, over and over. So I could create my own style for this. And we've done this many times. Click on the More drop down, Go down to Save New Style. And I'm going to um, call this My grunge style all right and then we're going to click save now um, i could close this filter right down i could go then add it again the grunge filter and in the drop down at the very top is my grunge style there it is and it automatically put the sliders where i had them it gave me the soft light at 67 and the grain so it did everything identically to what i had it at so let's go compare the two. Let's go up to the browse module. And there is the image we just did with the grunge filter. And there is the image that we did with the bleach bypass filter. Now you may remember the bleach bypass filter has this section tint down here. So that's why we have this cool kind of tint put over the top. It also has a contrast slider, which adds to the contrast and so when we go back and we could um, really see the difference between the two now remember you can use both filters so if you have an image and you want to tint it but you want all the other controls handled by the grunge filter you could put the grunge filter on it and come up with this look then bring it over or just add the bleach bypass filter. And the only thing you want to do to the bleach bypass filter is add the tint. You could do that. Um, or, you know, whatever. If you want to just add grain to it, just add the, um, the uh, grunge filter to add grain on top of or underneath, I should say, the bleach bypass filter. So you could always combine the two different types of looks to get a totally unique look. So that's really it for the grunge filter. Um, again, I think it's a filter that is very subjective and something that not everyone will like and it's not gonna work on every single image. It works on, I think, my son's band Kill the Clock because that's the type of music they kinda play, kinda grungy pop punk. And I would ask you a favor if you could go to Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you listen to music, Amazon Music, and list, look up Kill the Clock and listen to their music. Um, if you could make them world famous for me, maybe they'll pay me back the money they owe me, and I would appreciate that. <laughs> Just kidding, they'll never pay me back. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.